In this section, we're going to talk about importing songs and formatting lyrics so that not only is the song correctly following the planned arrangement by the worship leader, but that it also looks good on the screens and is going to follow the flow of the song with line breaks and slide breaks. So I'll show you how to import a song in a minute here. But first, I want to show you how to find it in Planning Center so that we can make sure that the song that we're importing is actually the right one. So I've got um, Planning Center services open here. It's uh, bookmarked in all of the Chrome browsers at all the campuses. And when you go to sign in, you can sign into the media team account. Uh, the username and password are saved to the computer. It's just my email address um, and the password saved. So go ahead and log in with that. And then it'll bring you up to um, this screen, or more than likely, it'll bring you up to a screen like this, where there are some service types. If you're on the wrong campus, which you can see right here, just click where it says Harvest Church, and then click on the, the appropriate campus. So I'm going to go into Indiana, because that's where I'm at right now. And then January 10th is this upcoming Sunday. So here's the preview. The main thing that we're worried about is this plan right here. And you can see the four songs that we had in ProPresenter that we've been looking at so far. They're all right here. And there's a lot more details we can get from Planning Center that we don't have from ProPresenter. So let's say Grace on Top of Grace is a new song. It's one that we've definitely done at Harvest before, but just for the sake of an example, I'm going to say this is a new song and we're going to import it and build it from scratch. So we can click on this song and it's going to open this side panel here. And we've got these other tabs that give us more information. So let's go to um, the song tab. So a lot of songs, uh, especially depending on your campus, are going to have the arrangement right here. So this is intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, instrumental one, verse again, chorus. Um, so this kind of is going to help you piece together the arrangement before um, you even get to practice so that you'll have to make minimal changes. But let's go ahead and click on the title right here. And it's actually going to open up this song page. And this CCLI number that we have right here is very important. That's going to be the easiest way for us to find the correct song. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back to ProPresenter. And you can see here, whenever there's a song that doesn't exist in the library, whenever you um, first import the Planning Center service, it's going to say drop presentation or media here, just like it does for everything else, because it can't find a song called Grace on Top of Grace. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the library. We're going to hit Command F to go to search. And then we have these two icons here. The one on the left that's highlighted right now is our Pro Presenter library. But we actually have access to another library called Song Select. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to paste the CCLI number. And it's going to bring up the song that we want based on that number. The other option to do this, if you don't have a CCLI number, is to just is to just type in the name of the song and then to look at the artists. So here it says Fellowship Church. Um, sometimes if you open up the chord charts, there's some more information, Fellowship Creative. Um, so it looks like they have a couple different similar names. Let me go back to ProPresenter and see what it said for that. So Fellowship Church. So that if I had typed in Grace on top of Grace and there were like 10 different songs called Grace on Top of Grace, I could just look and see which one was done by Fellowship Church, and I know that's the right one. If all else fails, click on it, and it'll give you a preview of the lyrics here, and you can open up the lyrics in Planning Center by going to Under Arrangement. There's normally just a lyrics option, and make sure that the lyrics match what is in the preview in ProPresenter. In this case, they do, so I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit Import. And then this is going to bring up a bunch of different options. So normally you can just skip over all of this, but I'm going to show you what a lot of it does. So deliminators per slide. So right now it says four. I'm actually going to change this to two. So this is basically going to say how many lines per slide. You have different options here, paragraph break and line break. Make sure that's on line break. And this is going to mean two line breaks per slide. So that's what we like, um, two lines per slide. You can do three if you really need, um, definitely never more than four. But let's start with two to see what we can do. Theme, it's going to let you choose your theme. 
This should be songs, lyric template. It probably already is. Library is probably already your default library. And playlist should be none because remember you're linking this to a planning center service. So I'm gonna hit import and it's gonna bring it in. And file already exists. I'm gonna hit new version just to be safe. Um, and then we're gonna go back to January 10th, grace on top of grace. And then I'm gonna go here and just type it in. And don't forget to go back from the song select library to the pro presenter library. So we actually have two here because I didn't delete the old one, but for a new song, you're only gonna have one. So the new one here is grace on top of grace dash one. Drag and drop that. And then you can see we've got all of our lyrics here. So we're gonna talk more about how to uh, create the intro slide and the blank slide and whatever other groups we might need in the next video. But for now, this is how you import a new song from Song Select and how to make sure that it's the correct song by navigating Planning Center.